Hi everyone, welcome again to Bake Your Way Kitchen. Today we're doing yet another type of uh, chocolate mousse recipe. This is a blender chocolate almond mousse. It's absolutely delicious and the greatest part is that it's so easy to make. As you'll see, it only takes a few seconds. The reason I've got this on is because I don't want things to splatter everywhere. So I got my eggs, soft butter, it's all needed. Some chocolate chips, I'm using milk chocolate. You could use a semi-sweet or a dark chocolate. This was just what I had on hand. I'm gonna add in some vanilla. I'll add about two teaspoons maybe. Whoops. The reason I'm working quickly is because you need hot milk that's just under a boil. That, and I've already done that, so you can either do that in the microwave or the stove. I'd recommend the stove. Uh, just you don't want it to over, you don't want it to scorch in the microwave. And I'm just gonna add a, a little bit of almond extract. Now, I would recommend though, if, you have an, if you're into alcohol, um, one thing that, that people really like is um, an almond bourbon for this recipe, which uh, I have done before. I'm not crazy about wine myself or alcohol of any kind. <laughs> so I don't use that at all. So right now what we're gonna do is first, uh, we're gonna pulse this together just so that it starts to get mixed, and then we're going to gradually add in the milk. Alright, so, turn this on. Whoops. The power's got to be in for that to happen. Alright, um, so now we go on, and stir. So I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to start mixing this in as it goes. So hopefully it won't splatter everywhere, please. And you just want to mix it for about a minute until it's fully incorporated. smells fantastic, a nice chocolate almond smell. Um, so now, and as you can see, it was a wise idea for me to wear this because it did splatter everywhere. Um, my blender doesn't really have a slow setting for, for adding in the hot milk as it's mixing, but if yours does, make sure to use the, the, slow, um, the, uh, yeah, the slow setting. So now what we do is pour this in to each individual um, contain ramkin or even uh, wine glasses if you prefer and this needs to chill for several hours I would say overnight is probably your best bet um, trying not to get any drips I'm clearly failing at that so I've made about five here um, it makes between five four and six I would say depending on um, the amount that you want and so yeah that's pretty much it um, I'm going to clean this up. Uh, I'm going to put this in the fridge.